This is Jupiter Today for the 12th of February, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day in quadrant one, heading east. Europa starts the day and spends most of the day in quadrant four, heading east. Ganymede does spend all day in quadrant four, heading east. And Callisto spends all day in quadrant three, heading west. At 1.57 UTC, Callisto goes through a perigove, and that's at a distance to Jupiter of 1,868,985.5 kilometers. And the perigove is the closest approach to Jupiter that it will have in its orbit. At 6 hours UTC, EO is just past its eastern elongation and is now in quadrant 4, quadrant 2, heading west. At 12 hours UTC, EO is now firmly in quadrant 2, heading west. At 12.38 UTC, Europa goes through a perigove, closest approach to Jupiter in its orbit, and that's at a distance of 664,978.5 kilometers. At 13.07 UTC, EO goes through a perigove, and that's at a distance of 420,003.7 kilometers. At 18 hours UTC, EO has successfully transited Jupiter and is now in quadrant 3, heading west. Europa is going to be moving behind Jupiter fairly soon. And at 2228 UTC, Ganymede goes through an apogee, and that's the furthest away it will be in its orbit around Jupiter. And that distance is 1,073,144.6 kilometers. And by zero hours UTC tomorrow, EO is now firmly in quadrant three heading west. Europa is in quadrant one moving east, having successfully moved behind Jupiter. There are six Jupiter satellite events today. First is at 1540 UTC, when the transit of EO begins. At 1549, EO's shadow ingresses. At 1757 UTC, the transit of EO across Jupiter ends. And at 1806 UTC, the shadow of EO egresses. At 1905 UTC, Europa moves behind Jupiter. And at 2215 UTC, Europa reappears from behind the shadow of Jupiter. There are four satellite mutual events today. The first goes from 1824 to 1827 UTC, and that's when EO is going to occult Europa. It's a 3.4 minute event with an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.331 magnitudes, but it's only 9.34 arc seconds away from Jupiter, so a difficult photographic or photometric measurement indeed. Visibility for this event on the Google Earth map is all of Asia, most of Europe, some of Africa, maybe some of Australia. The second mutual event today goes from 1838 to 1840, and it is paired with the previous event, and this is when EO is going to eclipse Europa. It's a 2.4 minute event, with a very shallow estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.051 magnitudes. And again, it's very, very near Jupiter, 6.08 arc seconds. And the visibility for this event is pretty much the same as the last one. All of Asia and some of Europe, 
some of Africa, maybe a little Australia. The third mutual event today goes from 21.22 to 21.28 UTC, and that's when EO is going to occult Ganymede. It's a 5.7 minute event, with an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.264 magnitudes, and it's a nice distance away from Jupiter, 61.81 arc seconds. Visibility for this event is most of Western Asia, all of Europe will be able to see this event, and all of Africa will be able to see this event. The fourth event, paired with the previous event, goes from 2143 to 2151 UTC, and that's when EO is going to eclipse Ganymede. It's a 7.7 .7 minute event, with an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.642 magnitudes. And Ganymede is 57.25 arc seconds from Jupiter when it's eclipsed. And Eo and Ganymede are 11.51 arc seconds apart. Orbital ribbons for today. There's Eo and Europa. Eo and Ganymede. You can see that Eo and Europa and Ganymede are sort of balanced here on both sides of Jupiter. And there's Eo and Callisto. And there's Europa and Ganymede. Nice ribbon. Europa and Callisto. And Ganymede and Callisto. And then combining all these and colorizing a little bit, we get that today. Okay, 24 hours of Jupiter sky. Standing on the equator of Jupiter, looking out to the sky. Staying at longitude zero degrees. And just watching, seeing what's happening today over the next 24 hours at Jupiter from Jupiter's point of view. Is Europa passing in front of Ganymede. Remember, they're both on the same side of Jupiter, and Io is on the opposite side. And there goes Io between Jupiter and the Sun to transit and cast its shadow on Jupiter from Earth's point of view. The red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian twice today, the first at 725 and the second at 1721 UTC. There were some new images posted. And there was also some new radio data taken on the 11th of February. And there were no new papers. So at zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on Earth's celestial sphere is a right ascension of 9 hours, 17 minutes, 55 seconds and a declination of positive 16 degrees, 44 minutes, 55.6 seconds. The angular separation of Jupiter from the Sun as seen from Earth is 173.928 degrees, 
and that's 1.126 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The phase angle, which is the angle between the Earth and the Sun as seen from Jupiter, is 1.124 degrees, and that's 0 0.208 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Earth is now on the increase after its opposition a few days ago. The distance today is 650,951,083 kilometers, and that's 245,622 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a relative velocity between Earth and Jupiter of 10,234.25 kilometers per hour, and that's 1,958.33 kilometers per hour greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Sun is 797,932,059 kilometers, and that's 45,958 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a relative velocity between Jupiter and the Sun of 1,914.92 kilometers per hour, and that's 8 kilometers per hour less than what it was yesterday. At zero hours UTC, the central meridian, CM1, 214.72 degrees, CM2, 189.29 degrees, CM3, 99.22 degrees. The time of this recording is zero hours, eight minutes UTC on the 12th of February, 2015. So please subscribe and thank you for subscribing. Make sure to tell everyone you know who might be interested in hearing this podcast and seeing what I'm presenting every day of the very dynamic Jupiter system. If they're interested, please ask them to watch and subscribe. And you can send your comments and questions and suggestions to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.